Hello, Warrior families. I'm Denise Harwood, Interim Superintendent of the Smithville School District. Today, we celebrate the conclusion of the 2022-23 school year. This year has brought us many successes and a few challenges. Among our successes, the Board of Education approved our next five-year strategic plan, which puts an intense focus on retaining, attracting, and growing our staff, prioritizing the student-centered culture, expanding learning opportunities, academic excellence, outstanding facilities, and community partnerships. We value your input and look forward to implementing the steps it takes to make the Smithville School District the very best it can be. Second, voters passed the no tax rate increase GEO bond for $17.5 million for progress on our 10-year master building plan. This work has already begun and will be completed over the next two years. Third, we are one of the highest performing schools in the entire Kansas City Metro and the top school in the Northland based on our annual performance report provided by the Missouri Department of Elementary and secondary education. We have wonderful students, teachers, and parents that work together to grow our kids. And finally, we partnered with our local emergency response services and updated our comprehensive emergency operating plan to ensure school safety for all of our students and staff. We are very proud of these accomplishments. Now, switching gears to challenges. A challenge that lies before us is that a TIF commission created by Clay County approved a TIF or tax incentive plan for a developer to demolish the old hospital in downtown Smithville in order to build a four-story apartment building while collecting 70% of the taxes that would normally go to the school district for a span of 23 years. While the district agrees with the removal of the blight and demolition of the old hospital and supports growth for our community, we stand firm that tax dollars should not be taken from educating kids to build residential buildings that could house students. The Smithville Board of Education passed a resolution in January stating that we do not support tax increment financing or TIF for residential projects and will only consider supporting TIF for commercial or retail projects at 50% for 10 years. The final decision of this TIF lies in the hands of the City Alderman who will vote on it on June 22nd. Again, it has been an incredible school year. Collectively and collaboratively, we can overcome any challenge and look forward to bringing to life the shared vision of our school district. It has been my honor and privilege to serve as your interim superintendent.